All Aboard, bringing you board games. Hi everyone, thanks for watching All Aboard. My name is Gly. And I'm Pat. Today we'll be doing a full playthrough of Betrayal at House on the Hill, where we are a group of people who have come across an old house on top of the hill and have decided to explore it. At some point during the game there will be a haunt and one of us turns out to be a traitor. At that point we will have to refer to these scenario books to see what's going to happen. We are playing a two player variant so we have taken two characters each. Once the traitor has been revealed the person who is controlling him will give their other character to the other player and play will continue from there. It really helps if you subscribe to our channel and give our videos a like and also, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified each time we release a new content. Okay, so uh, my characters are going to be Father Reinhardt and Madame Zostra. So Father Reinhardt is 62 years of age and his hobbies are fencing and gardening. And Madame Zostra is 37 and she likes astrology, cooking and baseball. Oh, okay. And I will be working with Jenny Leclerc who loves reading and soccer and he's 21. And Darren Flash Williams. He loves rock music, Shakespearean literature okay. at 20. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, so the next birthday is going to be Madame Zostra, I believe. Her birthday mm -hmm. is December the 10th, so uh, she will go first. And now characters can move a number of spaces equal to or less than their speed. So Madame Zostra has a speed of three, and so she can move three spaces. So I'll start off moving around here so we get a new room on the ground floor. Okay, thank you. Oh, the collapsed yes. room <laughs> already. Wow. <laughs> Dropped directly at the basement, huh? Yeah, well, she has to attempt a speed roll of five plus to avoid falling. Mm -hmm. How many is her speed? Uh, okay, she's got a speed of three. So she gets to roll three dice. And each of these dice have two sides with one pip, two sides with two pips, and two blank sides. So they're not like regular dice. Okay, let's see what she gets. She gets one and oh, fails goodness. miserably. Okay, so she falls down to the basement. Okay. And so we draw a basement up. tile. So the mm -hmm. top one here is the basement. And lands in the catacombs. Okay. Ooh. And that gets the below collapse room token. Thank you. Uh, so she'll go down there and take one physical damage. When you take physical damage, uh, you can split it as you like between might and speed. And if you take mental damage, you can split it between sanity and knowledge. So she is going to lose one speed, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. And now she lands in a catacombs which has an omen card. Mm -hmm. So if the uh room tile makes you draw a card then that's the end of your movement for the turn so our omen is madman mm -hmm. companion a raving frothing madman gain two might and lose one sanity now so she is going to gain two might bring her up to six and she loses a sanity so the madman is running rubbing off on her <laughs> Okay, and she gets to keep this companion here. Okay, that's our first omen, so... Yeah. yeah, so so each time you draw an omen card, you have to do a haunt roll, which means mm -hmm. you roll six dice, and you need to get equal to or more than the number of omen cards that have been drawn so far. So there's only one card drawn so far, so... Yeah, she succeeds. we're safe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And that's the end of Madame Zostra's go. So on to Jenny Leclerc. Jenny Leclerc. Jenny Leclerc is going to explore the upper floor. Oh yeah. What's one, our speed? The speed of Jenny is four. Okay. So one, and then climb the stairs tuck, 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 <laughs> up to the upper floor. So that's one, two, three, and four. All right. Let me draw an upper floor tile conservatory they got a conservatory upstairs yeah. huh? okay. and there is an event all right here you go the event is night view you see a vision of a ghostly couple walking the grounds silently strolling in their wedding best 
you must attempt a knowledge roll. Mm -hmm. okay, knowledge so. roll three. So I, I have to beat five. Let's see this event. So three. All right. Oh, this is not easy, huh? Oh. Oh, four. four. Okay. Zero to four. You pull back in horror, unable to watch. <sighs> mm. Scary <laughs> sight. <laughs> Scary. Mm -hmm. All right. And now it's Darren Flash Williams. So Flash has a speed of six. Oh, Flash gets, doesn't get his name for nothing, eh? Yeah, <laughs> so he's going to explore the ground floor. One, two. And it's the ground floor, the game room. Mm -hmm. And All we right. get an event. There you go. An event, here you go. Drip, drip, drip. A rhythmic sound that needles at your brain. Put the drip token in this room. So we have the drip token. Okay. Let's put it there. Each explorer rolls one fewer die, minimum of one, on all trade rolls while in this room. All right. Mm, so okay. let's keep it here for us to be uh, reminded. Okay, mm -hmm. and back to Father Reinhardt. Okay. He's going to go here. Now, just a note on the collapse room, it's only the first player to enter the room that has to do the speed roll. So he goes mm -hmm. one, two, and we'll draw a card. So. Your tile. The charred room. Oh, mm -hmm. and another omen. Okay. Okay. So, so you have to be two. Draw the omen first. So. Oh. Holy symbol. Well, that's appropriate for a priest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two. A symbol of calm in an unsettling world. Gain two sanity now. <laughs> yeah, a priest should always be sane. Yes. Well, I still get the most horrible homily. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's totally sane now. He's up to seven. And he will lose two sanity if he loses the holy symbol. And he makes a roll. Okay, so here roll, so six. six dice. And this time we need uh, to be two because there's two omens out. So let's see how we get on here. Okay, yeah, safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and Madame Zostra. Madame Zostra, now I don't like her being stuck down in the basement. So we'll see if we can find a way out for her. So she's mm -hmm. got a movement of three. Let's come down. One, two. Mm -hmm. So we need basement tile. Basement tile, and this is the research laboratory. Okay, so there's going to be an event in here. And the event is disquieting sounds. A baby's cry, lost and abandoned. A scream, the crack of breaking glass, then silence. Roll six dice. If you roll equal or more than the number of omens that have been revealed, you gain one sanity. If not, take one die of mental damage. Okay. Mm. Uh, so so I have, have to, to roll higher two. than two, yeah? Six dice. Okay, and we get four. Yeah, four. Okay, with a lot of blanks there. I got a bit scared for a second. <sighs> okay, so she gains uh, sanity. Bring her mm. back up to her original four. All right. All right. And Jenny Leclerc. Jenny Leclerc. Jenny would want to stay in the upper room and explore the floor more. So one, two. Okay. Upper. Oh, oh another junk omen. room. Another omen. So the junk room. When exiting, you must attempt a might roll of 3+. plus. If you fail, lose one speed, but continue moving. Okay. All right. And here's your omen. Crystal ball. Hazy images appear in the glass. Once during your turn after the haunt is revealed, you can attempt a knowledge roll to peer into the crystal ball. For plus, you see the truth. Search the item or event stack for a card of your choice. Shuffle the stack, then place that card on top. Oh, this is good. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. You avert your eyes, lose one sanity. 
And zero? Yeah, and zero, you stare into hell, lose two sun. Oh, oh my god. Now okay. let's make a haunt roll. All right, so, so we're up to three, three now. Mm -hmm. Oh, feels like the haunt is going closer and closer. Okay, five. five. Flash turn. Flash can move up to six, so he's going one, two. All right. The ground floor. Oh, oh, it's the call shoot. Okay. One so way slide to basement landing. Okay, so he goes straight down there. Now that actually doesn't count as a movement, so you take so, him in so there. One, two, he lands here, three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Statuary corridor. Okay, so there's an event here. All right. I need to get out of the. Uh, basement mm. spider a spider the size of a fist oh that shoots yeah. runs in your shoulder and crawls into your head oh. <laughs> yeah. you must attempt a speed roll to brush it away or a sanity roll to stand still <laughs> all right what are you going for oh speed is six i'll go yeah for go for speed <laughs> Oh, get the, like oh that's six. disgusting <laughs> yeah very disgusting okay i need to get a four and oh, you did I get it. it. Okay. It's gone. Gain one in the trade you used to attempt this roll. Okay. So now his speed is up to seven. Wow, he's getting very fast. <laughs> he's flash. He's flash, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's so Father good to get that spider. Yeah. Yeah. So, you don't want that spider on no, your shoulder all the way. Uh, yeah, it can give me shivers on my spine. <laughs> okay, now if anybody's ever seen a horror movie, you know that you, you should never split up. And we're kind of all over the place here. Yeah, I know. Mm. But uh, let's see. So Father Reinhardt is going to continue exploring over here. So he'll go one. Okay, I'm going to go on for ground floor the mystic elevator okay oh. so the mystic elevator is a special tile the minute you move into it you have to move so once per turn roll two dice and move this room next to any open door on and then depending on the number i get let's hope oh. it's not a zero because he takes damage it's a zero, it's zero and he takes damage okay so he takes uh, he goes to the basement and then takes one die physical damage. So I guess the elevator crashed down oh. into the basement and he fell over like that and hurt himself. Okay, and uh, so that's one. Uh, I guess he's going to go to... Uh, oh, hey, Flash. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> Yeah, let's stick together. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. This house is creepy, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Madame, Madame Zostra. Zostra. So let's let her continue out here. So that's one. And, oh, operating laboratory. So it looks like they keep their laboratories together in this house. So uh, I'll put it down yeah. this side here so that it goes up. And an event that's is going to happen. Cool. Webs. Oh. oh, this must have been built by that yeah. spider that you just found, right? Okay, casually you reach up to brush some webs aside, but they won't brush away. They cling. You must attempt a might roll. Four mm -hmm. plus, you break free, gain one might and discard this card, or zero to three, you're stuck, keep this card. Oh, oh I my need god, to okay, get... I don't want How to much get is the stuck. might of. Um... Madame Zostra is a might of five, actually. She's oh. quite strong. She can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's really horrible having webs oh, around no, no, you. No, no, no. She needs four plus. And she got it. Okay. She got it. So she broke free and gains one might and discards the card. And even gets wow, to go out stronger. Very strong, yeah. What between Flash brushing off spiders and mm -hmm. her brushing away webs, I think we're well prepared for this match. <laughs> <laughs> So now it's Jenny Leclerc. Okay. Jenny would love to stay in the upper floor. So yeah, let me room around here a little bit and go here. So that's one. Okay, she's on her own up there and yeah, everybody else down in the basement, eh? An upper, oh, dusty hallway. Okay, and so there's... That's, there's nothing happening there. Okay, so, so she can continue. One, two. 
Amazement. Upper. Oh, there's an omen. Gymnasium. Oh, okay. Once per game, if you end your turn here, gain one speed. Oh, nice. Okay, so, okay. you know, roam around a haunted oh, house and then get a workout. Very, <laughs> she looks very athletic, though. I mean, she loves soccer, so <laughs> gymnasium is the best place for her. Okay, so... Our omen goes your, up to four. And you get your omen card. Spear. Weapon. A weapon pulsing with power. You roll two additional dice, maximum of eight dice, when making a might roll attack with this weapon. Oh. You can't use another weapon while you're using this one. Oh, that's mm. very nice. Okay. So that's for General Clerk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so two, four. So she was working out in the gym, <laughs> came across a spear, and said, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds creepy. I'll take that. <laughs> I need to beat four. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay. And flash. Flash. Flash should want to get out of the basement. All right, friend. Let me just explore a little bit farther. Okay. I don't want to stay here. So flash has seven. Yeah, flash has well, seven. If you want to get out, you can go in the mystic elevator. Yeah. One, two. Don't leave us here. <laughs> Let me roll it too and hope that it's not blank or oh, one. I hope not, yeah. Yeah, two. two. Okay. So two and the ground floor. All right. Okay, so again, this mystic elevator go. Ah, okay. It's down here. So that's one, two, and three, four. All right. For this is basement, ground, the gardens, and there's an event happening here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So creepy crawlies. Oh my oh, god, this place is just filled with bugs, right? <laughs> A thousand bugs peeled out on your skin, yeah. under your clothes, and in your hair. Oh. You must attempt a sanity roll. Okay, so oh, last sanity. P is three, oh, and I need to beat five. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Four. four. One to four, lose one sanity. Okay, so Flas will go down to two sanity. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, and back to your father. He's like, uh, he left me here. He left me here. Without even giving an access to get out of the <laughs> yeah, basement. I wouldn't even <laughs> wait. Okay, so uh, there's nothing for it apart from to go and hunt out an exit from this place. So for the Reinhardt, it's going to come here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And servants quarters. Okay. And the servants quarters has an omen. Oh. So let's see what's so going to happen here. So we're up to five now. Five, yeah, we're getting close. And the omen oh. is a dog <coughs> companion. This mangy dog seems friendly. At least you hope it is. Gain one might and one sanity now. Okay. Oh, it's just well, so sane. He's the this guy. only sane <laughs> yeah. normal he's person. He's now at maximum it? sanity and he's back. He's up to four for might. Uh, as long as he keeps this dog with him. And now, can I have a small token? I'll just take this one here. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, take a small monster token to represent the dog. So that'll be this one here. Put it in your room. Once during your turn, the dog can move to any explored room up to six spaces away using doors and stairs and then return. It can pick up, carry and or drop one item before it returns. The dog isn't slowed by opponents. It can't use one-way passages or rooms that require a roll. It can't carry items that slow movement. Okay, and mm, that is here, and now we have to do a haunt roll. So oh, yeah. it has to be five. Yeah, it's getting more and more difficult, isn't it? Okay, yeah. easy. Eight. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, Madame Zostra. Madame Zostra. Madame Zostra is going to continue searching as well, because we really want to find a way out of this basement. So here's your basement tile. Okay, and this is a storeroom, and yeah, just leave it that direction, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and um, she gets get an, an item, item and that is oh she got a revolver Ooh. so she's got a madman and a revolver <laughs> now <laughs> an old potent looking weapon you can use the revolver to attack with speed instead of might and your opponent then defends with speed and takes physical damage roll one additional die on your speed attack roll with the revolver you can attack anyone in the same room or within line of sight through an in uninterrupted straight line of doors if you attack someone in another room and lose, you don't take damage. You can't use another weapon while using this one. Oh, well, that could be useful to try to take out a traitor. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not if you're the traitor. Oh, well, then you can take you out, can yeah, take one out of the, the other guys. So. so now it's Jenny Leclerc. Um, Jenny's having fun on the upper floor. So <laughs> she it's might like, as well keep exploring there, um, should yeah. I go here or no? Nah? Let me go here. One. So upper floor. Oh, another omen. The gallery. You can choose to fall to the ballroom if it's in the house. If you do, take one die of physical damage. Okay, we no. don't have a ballroom just yet. She uh, learns a lot on the upper floor, so she's staying there. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, can I have the omen, please? And your omen card. There you go. Omen is a mask, a somber mask to hide your intentions. Once during your turn, you can attempt a sanity roll to use the mask. You can put on or take off the mask. If you put on the mask, gain two knowledge and lose two sanity. If you take off the mask, gain two sanity and lose two knowledge. That's if you get a four plus. Okay. Zero to three, you can't use the mask this turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Jenny will have here and let me do a hunt roll. Right, so we need to beat six. Two for four, seven. Six, okay. Seven. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay. Flash. Flash is going to stay in the, um, the ground, ground floor. floor. Yes, a seven. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Ground floor. Chapel. All right, oh. it's in the chapel, and the an chapel. event is going, going to occur. To... Here you go. The event is rotten. The smell in this room, it's horrible. It smells like death, like blood, a slaughterhouse smell. You must attempt a sanity roll. Oh, what have people been doing? doing in that church? I know. <laughs> so chapel. for five plus, you gain something, and anything below, you lose something. So okay. you need to get a five plus. He has a sanity of two. Oh. oh. Yeah, that should have been for the rhyme hack. He's so yeah. sane. <laughs> so two. two, lose one might. All right. Mm. He's fast, but he's not that strong. Okay. Okay. Back to Father Reinhardt. That's uh, getting quite low. You can't yeah. actually die before the haunt happens, uh, yeah. but you can fall to your low stats, so it's still not good. Okay, so for the Reinhardt, he's going to continue exploring and wondering where his mystic elevator has gone. You know? <laughs> so he go one, and his dog will come along with him. So basement. Here's your basement tile. Okay, and oh, it's a vault. Okay, mm. so uh, an event is going to happen here, and also he'll be able to do a knowledge roll once per turn of six plus to empty the vault and there's two items in there uh, but mm -hmm. let's get our event first and that is image in the mirror if you don't have any item cards this event affects the next explorer to your left with an item card discard this card if no explorer has an item card there is an old mirror in this room your frightened reflection moves on its own you realize it is you from another time you need to help your reflection so you write on the mirror this will help. You then hand an item through the mirror. Choose one of your item cards, not an omen card, and put it on the item stack. Then shuffle that stack. Gain one knowledge. Oh, okay. So, uh, Father Reinhardt has no item cards. He just has omen cards, the dog and the holy symbol. But uh, the next explorer on your left with an item card will get affected. So that's actually Madame Zostra. And Madame Zostra has a revolver. Oh no, oh. she's going to lose her revolver. Uh, so that goes back onto the item deck and Shuffle. gets shuffled. 
Oh, who is oh, Karak with that revolver? Yeah. But he does gain a knowledge. So, or she yeah. gains a knowledge because it's Madame Zostra now, right? Yeah. So she goes up. Well, she's still on four, but just a level up anyway. All right. And he's going to do a knowledge roll now to see if he can empty the vault. So Father Reinhardt has four knowledge. Mm -hmm. And he needs to get a six. Okay. So four dice. He gets a three, <laughs> so he doesn't find the items. All right, and on to Madame Zostra. Uh, so she is in the storeroom and there's no way out of there, so she has to start coming back. Uh, she has a speed of three, so she will go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And that's all she can do. Now is Jenny Leclerc. Um, she's happy on the upper floor, although she, she kind of miss her uh, friends. <laughs> but let's explore a little further her before I meet up with them. So, Jenny Leclerc has a speed of four. So, one, two, three, four. So, upper floor. Ooh, the tower. Oh, right. Okay. You can attempt a might roll of three plus to cross. If you fail, you stop moving. All okay. right, so you can't easily get across, but an Another event is going to happen mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. Something slimy. How? Mm. Oh, what's around your ankle? A bag? A tentacle? A dead hand clawing? You must attempt a speed roll. Oh, oh. she needs a four plus to break is that free. Like a bug again? You know, if this ah. haunt isn't about insects in some way, I'll be surprised. <laughs> speed roll of four, so she needs a four. Three. Oh, three. She lose one might. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, she's in a dangerous position as well as Flash. Flash has a speed of seven, so he's gonna go one, two, three. You want to bring back the Mystic Elevator? <laughs> yeah. So three. So basement, basement. Those are probably all the wow. stairs up. <laughs> the patio. Oh, okay. Oh. So in the patio, there's an event. Okay. The event is... What the... As you look back the way you came, you see nothing. Just empty fog and mist where a room used to be. Mm. Pick up the tile for the room you are in after setting everything on it aside. Put it somewhere else on the same floor of the house so its door is attached to a different unexplored doorway. And put back everything you set aside. If there isn't an unexplored doorway on this floor, move the room to a different floor. Okay. Oh, wow. so he can move this here instead. Back to Father Reinhardt. Okay, father and his trusty dog. <laughs> okay, so he is going to go one, two, and let's see what we find in the basement, basement? now. An abandoned, abandoned room. room. Oh, and another omen. So we're up to number seven, seven now. Get your omen. Okay, so the omen is ring. Mm. A battered ring with an incomprehensible inscription. If you attack an opponent that has a sanity trait, you can attack with sanity instead of might. Oh, he's very sane, so that's really good for him. Your opponent then defends with sanity and damages mental instead of physical. So, let's see. Let's so have to beat the Reinhardt. seven. So, haunt roll. Two, three, four, five. The haunt, haunt is going to happen. The haunt begins. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so when the haunt happens, you have to take the traitor's tome and then open it to the first page where you have your haunt chart. And uh, then you'll compare the room you're in to the weapon you found there, uh, which was a ring, ring? in the abandoned, abandoned room. Okay, so we get the ring in the abandoned room is number 28. And it's the highest knowledge except for the haunt revealer. Okay, so for the Reinhardt, doesn't matter. Uh, Madame Zostra has four. 
knowledge uh jenny has three and a uh, flash has three. Oh, so madame zastra is going to be the traitor oh. oh so you are going to take control of father reinhardt and here are his items so he's very very, very strong, strong now <laughs> And Madame Zostra is going to be the traitor. Okay, so our haunt this time is Ring of King Solomon. Okay, so I have to read the traitor's tome and Lai has to read the survival guide. When you found pentagrams under the floor in your bedroom as a child, you also found the source of the nightly blood-soaked dreams of pain, screams and sickly sweet terror. Then the voices told you how to prepare for the arrival. At first, you promised to make preparations only if the dreams would stop. Later, when you were awake and alone, night after night with only the drab comfort of your own pale imagination for company, you promised to finish the preparations only if the dreams returned. Now the arrival is at hand. You're done with dreaming. Hell has come. As you idly study the ring, your eyes suddenly catch inscriptions you'd missed earlier. Did it just appear? The strange marks look almost like pictograms, but even as you stare at them, they rearrange themselves into a language you can read. King Solomon's ring, the letters morph once more, demons bow to you, and then one last shift, the hell gate is open. The house quakes, a hot sickly sweet wind blows through the house, a scream promising an aeon of pain sounds from another room. You've never heard anything so terrible, nor can you imagine what sort of creature could give voice to something so purely malicious, except, perhaps, a demon from hell. Right, mm. so we have the demon lord and his minions in the game room. Ooh. So the person to the left of the traitor, Madame Zoster will go first, so that'll be Dr. Reinhardt. Okay, so Father Reinhardt and his dog are going to walk through this whole uh, servant quarters. One statutory corridor and to the basement. Do you think you can run away from me? You <laughs> fell the traitor. You'll you never were my escape. friend. You'll never escape from here. <laughs> you were my friend. And I'm going to attack her. Oh, okay. So what's your might? My might is four. Oh, hers is five. Four. So four, okay. And hers defend is? with a five. Oh, yeah. wow. I have another strong. She is strong. Oh my god, three. three. Okay, so... Oh, she... that happens to traitors. You know, <laughs> like, usually when you have this bad intention. Okay, so she's going to lose one might, but she's still at five. Oh... Okay, and Jenny Leclerc. Jenny Leclerc now. Okay, Jenny Leclerc can move to four. So one, two, three, four. Getting very close mm. to the demons there. <laughs> and then next is Flash. Flash. So what he can do is to help uh, Father Ryan Hart get out of there. So one, two, three, and I'm going to use the mystic. Oh, okay. Elevator. So if you roll a four, you can choose any floor. A one will get you to the basement and a zero will get you to the basement, but you'll have to take uh, damage. Four. Wow, any floor. I can choose any floor. So I'm going to go down to help Father Reinhardt. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now it's Madame Zostra, right? Madame Zostra. Madame Zostra has Hitting a me speed back? of three, so but it takes her two movement to get out of a room with an opponent. Yeah. So first of all, she's going to attack Father Reinhardt. You have a might of five, right? She has a might of five, yeah, and no Dang, weapons. Her madman traitor. companion is here with her as well, and he's going to be throwing in a few punches. Seven. Oh, jeez. Seven. <laughs> okay. And what's your... Uh... I have a might of four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven, huh? Mm. Two. Two. Oh, so you're going to lose five. Five physical. Yeah. 
Wow, five. So you can split that between might yeah. and speed. One, two. If I'm down to one, I'm not. You're good. okay at one. If you go to the skull, you're gone. Three, four, and five. Oh my god. Oh, lowest levels on both? Yeah, lowest level on both. Okay, so I did have a choice there. If you inflict more than two physical damage on a character, you can actually steal an item instead of inflicting the damage. But I think it's better to have you, you know, okay. <laughs> nearly dead because I can pick up the item then anyway. Uh, so she still can do some actions. So she can move three spaces. One would take two movement because there's an opponent in the room. And I would normally move out here, but I don't want you being able to make so it over to the Mystic Elevator. So that's all I'm going to do for now with her. And next are my demons. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so these are, this is my demon lord. And these are my demons. And they have a movement of three. So it's going to go one, Ooh. two. <laughs> Hello there. What have we got here? <laughs> are you going to move all of them? Yes. In one go? In yeah. one turn? Yeah. Okay. She's yeah. going to be dead. So Demon 1 has a speed of 3 and he has a might of 5. Wow. So he's going to attack with his might. Mm -hmm. They are pretty strong. And it says demons hate all living creatures. <laughs> oh. So yeah, so he's a, a living creature hater and he's going to attack Jenny Leclerc here and murder her. <laughs> Okay, six. Six. So Jenny has a might of four. Okay. Okay. Oh, four. four. Okay, so she loses two physical damage. Two physical damage. So, hold. oh, it's going to be dead soon. Okay. okay, and demon number two has a speed of four. So Faster, he's huh? going to, yeah, and oh. he has got a might of four as well. So he's going to attack with four. They're killing Jenny, huh? Yeah. Take that, human. <laughs> so she got a six, a to, six. to defend against. Wow, it's a lot. So Jenny has a might of four. And two. two. Okay, okay, so she so takes four, four physical. physical damage. Wow, she's still alive. Almost, but you're last. <laughs> you're last demon. We have a couple of demons here left to go. Uh, so a demon number three has a speed of five and a might of three. So I get faster and weaker. <laughs> but he's going to come in here. Mm -hmm. And he's got a might of three. Ooh. Die, human! <laughs> Die! Three. <laughs> three and... You have to might... defend with four dice? No, I have to defend with three. I'm oh, down you're going three. down. Oh. I hope he gets four of these. One. One. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> so Jenny is dead. Okay. My demon lord has a movement, a speed of two. One, and what room is below the collapse room there? The catacombs, two. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so Jenny just drops her items there. So there's a spear, a mask, and a crystal ball in that room. Okay, oh. so the demon lord has moved, and now we are back to Father Reinhardt. Father Reinhardt. First, let me eliminate the... Let me eliminate the... Traitor first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just try it. <laughs> I should have done this earlier because I have the ring. I I'm going to attack her using my sanity, which is eight. The ring even adds two more to my... But oh, I'm on maximum. Wow. So. Oh, to a maximum pain. Okay. And so she has to defend with sanity. How much is the sanity? She's got four sanity. <laughs> oh. Oh, you should have done that the first time, yeah. Yeah, I should have done this the first time, but this is the time. 
Seven. Okay. Seven. That's and not a good roll, though. It'll. It's not bad because uh, I have to get seven to, for my sanity. I've only got four dice, so the maximum is eight, right? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. You can't catch me with your mind tricks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Four. Okay, so she loses three, three. mental. Uh, so her knowledge will go one, two on knowledge, and one on sanity. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move very brave and move where the demon lord is. Oh, so that's going to take you two movement to yeah. get there, and so, your dog will go with you. And, and there's a speed of two. And my okay. dog will come with me and I will attack the demon lord. Okay. Uh, now, when my demon drops down to the basement, he can decide which side of the room he's going to fall down on. Which I didn't actually say at the time, but because because I put him here, we leave him on this side of the room, so you can't actually attack him. Attack him. him. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to attack him with my sanity roll. And oh. I'm going to use the ring. Okay. And uh, this one. Okay. If you make a sanity attack, I get an additional two on my result. Six. Plus two because of my special power. So you get a plus two if yeah, you have the ring. I use the ring. Yeah, if I have the That's ring. That's not plus two dice, right? It's plus two to your attack, yeah? No, it's plus two to the result of your roll. Okay. So you got six plus two is eight. Mm -hmm. And now I've got, uh, you're attacking with sanity. I've got sanity yeah. of seven. Wow. Yeah, I'm very sane. You're very sane. <laughs> I'm a very sane demon lord. <laughs> oh, how did you even become a demon if you're Because I'm so sane. sane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And one, two, three, four, five. I defeated you. Okay, and what was your result? Uh, eight. Yeah, but I I stun you because you lose. The demon lord is stunned, so you can't move. Because Is that what lose. it says? It says here that uh, defeating the demon lord is stuns it. The first time stuns it. So, so you're saying the demon lord is stunned now, right? Yeah, it's stunned now. He just flips over. Okay. Then now is flash. All right. Flash. Should gonna start taking care of the traitor. Oh. So let me search for some things that could help him. One, two, and three. All right. Okay, so basement, organ room. Oh. oh. And an event. And an event happens. Creepy puppet. You see one of those dolls that give you the willies. It jumps at you with a tiny spear. <laughs> the player on your right rolls a might for attack for the creepy puppet. You defend against this attack as normal by rolling dice equal to your might. If you take any damage from the attack, the explorer with the spear gains two might unless you have the spear. Oh. None. None Nobody has the spear. The spear is yeah. on the ground here at the moment beside uh, Jenny Lecurse's yeah, so corpse. You, so you make an <laughs> four attack. Okay, uh, an attack a of might four. four, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and two. Two, and I have an attack, a might of three. Okay. I have to beat two. two. Oh, Six. you beat it yeah. well. Okay. Now that's out of the game. That so creepy puppet's yeah. gone, yeah. And now it's the traitor. Madame Zostra. Well, Madame Zostra isn't happy after having her sanity attacked <sighs> by Father Reinhardt. So, how dare you? How dare you? She goes in and she starts attacking him. With her might of five. Oh! What's your might? What can you defend with? It's very low now, right? Yeah, my might is one. Oh, There's not no chance. It's gonna be dead. 
And she got six. Okay. Oh my God! And the might of the might of Father Reinhardt is one. No. Oh. One. So it gets hit for five. And he's dead. Yeah. I should have protected him from the start. Yeah. Okay, yes. so he drops his items in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Including the ring. And now I believe I get your dog. Oh yeah, so then, yeah, so you get the dog. Okay, so yeah, so you lose your items. One of which is going to be your precious ring. Yeah. And uh, of course, of Madame Zosra is going to pick them all up. So now she has a madman, a dog. So she gains one might and one sanity. She's pretty sane for someone who's so murderous, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a holy symbol gives her two more sanity. She's <laughs> totally sane. <laughs> She's up to six now in sanity. Okay, and a ring. So that is the pile, and she takes custody of the dog. Okay, and so that was just one movement and an attack. So she has a speed of three, so she can stay going. Ha ha ha, that'll teach you, priest. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and so she's got two speed left, so she's going to go back to the basement landing and out here. Let's see okay. what we find here. Uh, he wants to. Crown, 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 upper basement. Oh, and it is the wine cellar. Oh, mm -hmm. my favorite room. <laughs> and she's going to get an item there. And that is a rabbit's foot. <laughs> Not so lucky for the rabbit. <laughs> Once during your turn, you can reroll one die. You must keep the second roll. Okay, so she's got lots of items now. Okay, and it's the demon's turn. But the demon is stunned, so... Uh, the demon lord is stunned, but we oh, still okay. have three demons here. Demon number one has a speed of three. So he's going to go one, two, three. Demon number two has a speed of four. So he's going to go one, two, three, four. <laughs> so demon number three has a speed of five. So he'll go one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> mm. I'm trembling okay. now. And Flash is the only hero alive. And demon lord loses his stunt, but he can't move this turn. Mm. Okay, Flash. Yeah, let me try to move out here. So that's... Flash is really. I'm the only <laughs> one left. He must be terrified. He must be terrified. So let me explore a little here to get some items to help me out of this horrific house. <laughs> one. Ground. You might have tried the mystic Basement. elevator. <laughs> oh, creaky hallway. Okay, so he can stay moving because there's nothing there. S yeah. Two. Okay. So shuffle the deck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, basement. Oh, is that the stairs? An omen. Pentagram. When exiting, you must attempt a knowledge roll of four plus. If you fail, lose one sanity, but continue moving. Oh. So there is an omen here. Okay, and you get your okay. omen. Omen. Is a girl companion a girl trapped alone you free her gain one sanity and one knowledge now oh that'll be useful for trying to get one out of the pentagram chamber sanity and one knowledge okay and then I keep the omen <laughs> okay so Madame Zostra is going to go hunting for some blood <laughs> wow. so she only has a speed of three one two three and then demon number one is going to move one two three demon number two can move oh. one two 
three, four, and attack. Oh. So uh, that's demon number two. He has a might of four. Mm -hmm. How much might do I have? Three. Okay. I oh. smell human blood. <laughs> Must kill it. Wow. wow. <laughs> eight. That's eight. Okay. And this three mine of yours? <sighs> One. Seven. Oh, I think it's dead. So I'm going to get the speed. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six, seven. And Basically, he's and dead. And he's dead. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, so you win when all the heroes are dead. Okay. And if you win... The hell gate is open. You scrub the blood from your eyes with the heel of your palm. The sickly sweet tang in the air is just like that in your dream. The tangled bodies of your fellow explorers form a throne of flesh for the demon lord. The screaming has only just begun, just as you've always dreamed. Jenny was very brave exploring the upper floor on her own. However, after the haunt, she didn't last very long when the demons attacked her. I guess her life could have been longer if she had stayed on the upper floor. Father Reinhardt was starting to get very strong mentally and I was a bit disappointed when I had to give him up after Madame Zostra turned out to be the traitor. He had a load of sanity and I'm sure if he had had a second chance he would have taken out the Demon Lord, especially with the help of the ring. Father Reinhardt, he had the ring at the time of the haunt. He was so sane at eight, so he was the most capable to kill the Demon Lord among the heroes. I would have protected him more by moving him farther from the Demon Lord and the traitor Madame Sostra. But when he saw the Demon Lord adjacent to where he was, his brave heart was overflowing that he just had to go there and attack him. After the haunt, the traitor gets some extra powers and I think it's very difficult for the other explorers to defeat both the traitor and the monsters. I have to say, it's a lot of fun hunting the explorers down. Flash was very fast. But he's also very weak. As the demons get closer and closer, he got more frightened. So he decided to explore the other rooms, hoping to get a companion or an item that could help him become braver. The heroes did their very best, and I'm very proud of them, even though they failed. The demons were hungry for blood today, and thanks to Madame Zostra's help, they weren't disappointed. So there you have it. That was Betrayal with House on the Hill. We hope you enjoyed watching that. Tell us some fun moments you've had with this game and what is your best role playing? Your likes and subscriptions are a great help to us. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more board game playthroughs. Thanks a lot for watching All Aboard and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.